Well, let's see if that's, yeah, that looks like that's working. Hey, folks. Uh, hey, folks. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. You get where you get your daily dose from me. And um, this morning I have an interesting topic, I think, uh, one that uh, challenges some folks that um, I, I think it'll be good. So just stick with me as we get through this. Hey, uh, when you join, whether you're watching live or on the replay, either way is awesome with me. Uh, but if you'll do what Keith just did, leave a comment. Keith, you beat Joe in this morning. <laughs> Congratulations. That is an accomplishment. <clears throat> leave a comment down there. Let me know that you are here. That will warm my heart because it is cold in here this morning. Had to put the hoodie on today. Um, they said last night we might have flurries tonight. Are you kidding me? In March? Anyway, um, enough of the weather report. Hey, it is Thursday. That means it's thankful Thursday. What are you thankful for today? Leave that in the comment also. That would be fantastic. And because today is Thursday, uh, it means that tomorrow is Friday, free coaching Friday coming up tomorrow. If you have a question or topic you'd like for me to hit, be sure and send that to me as well. And yes, Eric, it's always a race. It's always a race. And I did something this morning that uh, I it is usually a bad thing to do. But I don't know. So far, it's turned out all right. I fired up the old software here to do the show, and it said, hey, you have an update. I applied the update with less than five minutes to go before the show started. But um, but it all worked out okay. There's some pretty cool things in the update, and I've got a full cup of coffee. So here we go, if you're ready. The title for today's show was There's Always a Choice. And uh, for a lot of different reasons over the last you know few weeks, I've spent a lot of time thinking about, pondering on this whole idea of... of um, whether we really have a choice or not. And I'm, I, this is, I'm not changing my message. This is the same thing I've said for a long time. Um, we always have a choice. There is always a choice. Even if you choose to do nothing, you've made a choice, right? And choices have consequences. Sometimes those yield positive outcomes and sometimes they yield negative outcomes, but they always have consequences or results you can call them results if you want to the trick is what goes on up here between our ears right i mean brooke said i was brave for i guess she means for applying the, the software update right before the show started i had a choice whether i did that or not but they sucked me in the, the new features were just so enticing um but it's not not just understanding that we have a choice, but believing that we have one. I can know something and not believe it, right? Dare I say this? Yes, I'll say this. Like believing we didn't really go to the moon. Where's that come from? Anyway, you have a choice. The choice is going to create an outcome. You have to believe that you have a choice and that your choices make a difference. Because as this whole year we've been talking about creating the life you crave instead of just letting life happen to you. If you believe that you don't have a choice, then there is no other option but to let life happen to you. You have no control over the outcome of anything that's going on. Your choices don't have any consequences or results. You're just there right and if you're just there fine but in my, from my point of view <laughs> the much more effective way to live a life that's that it has even has the remotest chance of delivering the outcomes or the results that you want is to believe that you have a choice and act like you do. And here's the one thing that I found out. I mean, this is seems kind of crazy. Maybe I, I'll spot you that much, but if you believe that you have the choice and you act as though you have a choice and you make decisions and you put them out there to the world, 
people will follow you. It's it's really weird, right? People want, and this is another topic for a whole nother day, but people want someone to follow. Most people want someone to follow. And in the absence of anybody else, they'll follow you if you act like you know where you're going. So do that. Not that hard. So here's the point. I want to come back to the point. I In, in almost everything that I teach, when I draw it out on the whiteboard, I wrap the whole thing in a big circle and write choices. All of the stuff, all of the details that we've talked about over the last couple of months and that we'll continue to unpack as we go through the rest of the year are predicated on the idea that you have to make a choice. Right now, as we begin to, as, as we begin to wrap down our conversation this morning, you have a choice of what you're going to do with this information. You can look at your to-do list. You can look at your calendar and think, I don't have any choice. I mean, somebody else has set this up for me. Right? Other people, look, just because they send you a meeting request doesn't mean you have to accept it. As soon as you start saying no, you become more valuable. Right? So put it where it works in your schedule. Don't put you where you work in their schedule, right? But you have a choice. When you look at your to-do list, you look at that calendar for the day. Is it running you or are you running it? What What will you do today? What's the one action you're going to do today to change that? I'm assuming that it's running you, right? If it's not, then congratulations. Who can you encourage to, to change their to-do list so that it's not running them? See, there's always something I'll hit you up with. All right, that's it for today. Thank you guys for joining me. Good morning, Joe, Brooke, Keith, and Eric. Thank you guys for being there, commenting, throwing those likes and loves out there. I appreciate that. If you're listening on uh, your favorite podcast catcher, hey, hey, Abby. Yeah, yeah, it's mine too. Um, if you're listening on your favorite podcast catcher, you can head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com and watch the show, watch all the back episodes, comment. Send me a message. Do whatever you want to do. That is awesome. All right. Remember, a uh, quick reminder, tomorrow's Friday, so free coaching Friday. Send me your questions, comments, or topics, and I will incorporate those into the show. That's going to be it for today. You guys have a fan. Oh, and don't forget, in your comments, leave me a comment. What are you thankful for today? It's Thankful Thursday. Uh, I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. See you. All right, and we are, nope, that would be the wrong outro video. Hit the wrong button. Dang it.